describing the importance of diffusion with both gases and solutes. So the example I'm going to give is the alveoli. When you breathe in, oxygen fills up the alveoli. So you have a high concentration of oxygen inside the alveoli when breathing in air. Returning from the respiring tissues is going to be blood that is low in oxygen because it's been used up in respiration. So oxygen will diffuse down the concentration gradient from the alveoli into the red blood cells and capillaries. Carbon dioxide is the waste product of respiration. So blood returning from the capillaries will be high in carbon dioxide. But because you've just breathed in air, you have a low concentration of carbon dioxide inside the alveoli. So the carbon dioxide will diffuse from the capillaries into the alveoli. Solutes will also dissolve. And in this example, I'm going to use the villi and the ileum. So this is the ileum and this is the lumen, so the empty tube that makes up the digestive system. On the outside, we've got lots of amino acids, which have been the product of digestion from proteins. On the inside of the alveoli, in the capillaries just here, you've got a low concentration of amino acids. So the amino acids will diffuse down the concentration gradient from a high concentration in the lumen, through the villi wall, into the capillaries and then they are taken away.